Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. So we are now fighting um this guy, what's his name? Uh Leopardmon. Look at his tiny little tail. Oh, I clicked too quickly and you missed it. But he's got a little cute it's not a tiny tail, but he's got a little cute tail flying out of the back of him, which is hilarious. It doesn't seem like the kind of thing like the super duper mega lord of the dance would have, but oh well. Anyway, let's go and start buggering him up. Oh dear. Why are we set up in a way like why are my allies not very useful against what I'm fighting against, as far as I understand? At least the uh, uh, Alpha Mon isn't very useful. Oh well. Yeah, let's go for Platinum Junk. Oh, one of the mess is annoying. Can he be panicked? Can he be hit? <laughs> oh. Stun, I believe, is the one that only like affects you once and then goes away, so it's not too bad, I suppose. It's a shame that I can't use Rosemon. Ah, oh, stuns, well, you. Cool. Go for it. That was pants. Is that a thing he did to begin with? No. Okay. It's really hard to lose when you're like the type it's bad against because it can't do anything. <laughs> um, what could I try against him? Oh, wait, he's white. Let's use Nightmare. Free against him, that'd be good. Uh, you just keep doing Platinum Jump. Oh, cool. And then... Mm, here's a guard, guard break field in him. Oh, no, nope, I didn't do anything. Right. Cool, that's the kind of thing we need. Yeah, awesome, yeah. Good. Not that. Oh, I forgot to use the other attack. Oh well. Got platinum junk. You banana slip. <laughs> That's funny, you fell over on banana slip. Cool. Okay, no, you're good against him. That's fine then. It's just Alpha Mon, there's no help. <laughs> Hopefully, it won't end with like one health and then be like, oh, let's fight again! Like, because our second to last thing, Extinction Wave, doesn't sound good. Well, it's fine. If anything, it was worse than his other attack that we had. Can I stun him again? I can! Good. Cool. Oh, he's suddenly dead. You might get him with that if it hits. Yeah, good for you! Oh, even Rosemont went up a load. Good try. I think Rosemont's a lower level, so I don't know why I said even Rosemont. But there you go. Uh oh, look at his little pom pom tail, it's so cute. That I might be defeated! The unrivaled justice could falter here. That's it! Destruction must be King Dressil's will. Now that my end is here, I finally see the light. May the will of King Dressil utterly destroy the human and digital world alike! There is no greater proof than my perishing here. Brahaha, <laughs> worlds far and wide be destroyed. Vanish like me, leaving no trace behind. Ahahaha! <laughs> Ahahaha! gonna explode. There are no more royal knights to oppose you. 
Mm, now we just need to find a way to handle the mass of eaters who have come from the digital wave. Well, we could take them down one by one. But, hey, there's a legendary royal knight here. He can use legendary power and do legendary stuff. No, that would take too much time. In that case, our only option is to, to, to ask you-know-who for help. Suedo. That's right. So, Suedo. My, my, I see everyone's here. Arata, you've given up on evolution. I trust these people. I ain't buying your crap anymore. I see. Well, that's fine, I suppose. Since, you, since you're here, I'm assuming that means you have a way, right? Excellent, Arata. A brilliant deduction. Let me get right to the explanations. To end this disastrous situation, all we can do is send the eaters infesting Tokyo back to the digital world. What? If we release a digital wave that is pulled in the digital line, the dimensional door will open. That will attract the eaters, then in they go. Happily, the digital line is already primed, thanks to the energy you took from Leopardmon. The plan can be executed at any time now. That's absurd. You would further doom my digital world? Yeah, we're not letting that happen. Of course I won't let such a thing happen. It would just mean the end of our ev evolution. Did you know that the Eaters have what could be called a main unit? The Eaters main unit? Yes, yes, the Mother Eater itself. Eliminate that and all other Eaters will be wiped out in turn. Where is this Mother Unit? Deep in the digital world, Kindrasil's core. Kindrasil, the host computer that can be called the creator of your world, has been worn away by the Mother Eater and has lost most of its functionality. This may be the reason why your Royal Knights have broken ranks with one another. Wait! If we know where the Mother Eater is, then we should go to Kindrasil and remove it. Why do we need to send the Eaters back? Unfortunately, you'll never be able to get close to Kindrasil by charging in blindly. The wide-scale loss of functionality includes Kindrasil's security system. It'll be able, unable to discern whether anyone who approaches it is friend or foe. I surmise that the instant we enter the digital world, we will be dealt with as bugs. However, seeing as the Eaters are all part of the, mother's e all part of the Mother Eater, there's a different story. If we can send eaters that have incorporated a program of my devising back to the mother eater en masse, we could attach them to King Rasil and temporarily take control of the security system. And then we eliminate the mother eater? Hmm, I think I follow you. There is no other way to remove the eater threat from both worlds. Oh boy, I'm totally clueless here, so like, this is our only choice, right? It would appear so. Now to put this plan into action, there is one request I need to make of the Royal Knights. Opening the dimensional door is a simple matter, however. I am dubious as to whether enough digital wave energy has accumulated in the digital line to actually keep the door open. This is uh, That is why, after the Eaters are in the digital world and until Mother Eater is eliminated, I need you to hold the door open from inside. Leave that part to us. Are we ever going to get Gallantmon back? <laughs> Magnamon! You guys! <laughs> now isn't this heartening? Let us open the door to a new age, a new world. Speaking of which, let's make some quite little, uh, quite little adjustments to the digital line. Master Arata, Ma Miss Yuko, would you help me? Oh, and let's not forget Miss Akino either. What? Me too? But wait, what do you mean? Don't forget me. Dear me, you've simply showed you've got a rather unique knack for hacking the digital line is all. All right, then, everyone, I'm counting on you. Okay, right now. Okay, let's dive on in. We got it. We're pushing wide open from the inside. It seems crazy, but we've got no other choice. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah. Whoa, amazing! Good work! I don't know whose voice this is. The Eaters are being sent back! There, the door's opened! This magic circle connects to the digital world whenever you're ready. Let me ask you one thing. Yes, yes, what is it? 
You said we must eliminate the Mother Eater, but do you have an assured means of doing so? Heavens, didn't I explain? Of course there's a way to do it. We extract the foreign object trap within the Mother Eater, the mental data of Yugo Kamashiro. I believe eaters were never meant to prey on data from life forms such as humans in the first place. But once Yugo was devoured, their dietary habits changed. Incorporating human mental data was what first gave eaters their present form. Yes, they evolved. The eaters are now protecting this mental data, as it was the impetuous for that very evolution. It's held very carefully deep within their core. You can't be in the same place my brother said the eaters were keeping him trapped. Inside the mother eater thing? Ultimately, he serves as a type of core. If my theories are correct, when we remove him, a very interesting phenomenon will occur. Reversible programs being overwritten, time being turned back on itself. Hmm. What? The Eater's memory integration network is beyond our understanding, our imagination, and even our ability to comprehend. They are always sharing information, always making choices, but every instant is remembered. They have no concept of a capacity limit, nor any concept of time. They simply remember. How, how can that be? Your thinking is not possible, correct? Then what about the things you were all experiencing recently, about what happened to you eight years ago in Eden and the digital world? What you saw is what Crusadermon downloaded from Eta Memories and recreated in virtual reality. She probably made some adjustments as part of her nasty little trap, but still... Why? Why do you know all of this? To be truthful, I am part of the Eaters now. Or more accurately, I merely have special access to their network. So that was how you pulled off your tricks. Cracking and tricks are the same thing. You could do it too if you wanted to, Arata. Are you for real? If Arata can do it, then so can I. What? Yes, of course, anyone can do it. But human beings reject these possibilities on an instinctual level, and you are no exception. This is because of your having been unable to realise true unlimited potential while having been overtaken by eaters once previously. But let's save that discussion for another time. It's a rather long story. Anyway, if the key data that triggered the Eater's evolution into their current form were to disappear, my calculation indicates that time will rewind itself to a point before Yugo's mental data was devoured by the Eater's eight years ago. The present will become a future that never happened, and this proper past will be our new present. Um, excuse me, take it, Miss Kyoko, in our studio- what? Take it, Miss Kyoko, in our studio audience, what? This phenomenon is feasible in the digital world. And with the material and digital realms having assimilated with one another, nothing is beyond the impossible at this point. Without a doubt. When the Eaters cause time to reverse, I wonder what effect will be seen in the real world. Through the connection with the digital world, it's possible that Eaton Syndrome will disappear after all. It'll be as if the cause of it never existed. You're talking about the law of causality, right? It was a beginning to f What? I was beginning to think along those lines too. But how do we get you go out? That shouldn't be any problem. I would think you've already experienced it, Arata. <gasps> Wait, hang on. If Eden Syndrome disappears, that means Merman and Yugo can return to their original bodies, right? Um, really? That's kind of a that's kind of out of left field. It's a solution I totally hadn't even imagined. But right now, anything's possible. Rescue Yugo and bring him and Merman home. The grand finale will be a happy ending. This might be out of left field too, or maybe it's wishful thinking, but I can't stand waiting here doing nothing. I want to go see my brother. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. <laughs> see you later. Uh oh, it doesn't bode well. I like to say that we should carry on as well, but what's the matter? At present, the digital world is a very dangerous place. We don't have a lot of time, but it makes no sense to just rush in and make mistakes. Do you have anything left to do? If so, take care of it before we proceed. When you're ready, we'll head for the digital world. Um, I probably could find more side quests and stuff to do, but I don't really care. Um... Been years since we celebrated my birthday together, can't wait. Here's a Here's to the day we meet. I've got a present for you. Let's lie, I didn't buy a present. Um, let's leave quickly to heal and then come back. Oh, let's talk to these people. Oh, hello, Arata. What are you going to tell me? Wait, do I click on this or I want to get inside it? No, I guess I'll talk to Arata. Okay, they probably will be here when we get back then. Someone over there at the back as well. Oh, it's Gallant Molly's back! Yay! Um, okay.
Let's go sort ourselves out quickly. Not crazy music again, just for going down this elevator. Um, oh, hello. You've come. I've been waiting for you. Actually, I have a request. Although I admit it is not quite as simple as that, it's a matter of fate. I have left a case of your office. Please do take a look. Thank you. <laughs> In advance. <laughs> Creepy as always. Um... Uh, that's wonderful. I can't bother to start them again, I don't care. Uh, okay, let's go. Oh. I want to go talk to those guys quickly before I forget. Mainly I want to find out what's happened with Gallant 1 now that he's back. I'm glad he's alive, because it was a bit sad that he just got eaten and that was the end of him. I've been hesitant to approach you, but as you can see, I was separated from the boy and returned to my own body. I suppose that was ancillary to your plan to save the boy. I owe my thanks, nonetheless. But I stand behind my action, as does he. I'm afraid we have no intention of re reconciling. That said, I hope to see the conclusion you've chosen through to the end. Sadly, with the damage I've taken, I can offer no further help. Please, the future of both the digital and the human world are depending on you. Well, I'm glad he's alive. I like Gallant 1, so that was sad. Anyway, let's go talk to these dudes and then we'll go downstairs. And this time I've been tr oh no, all this time I've been trying to do something about Eden on my own. But each time I tried, my methods were off. But this time everything's just right. I'll take you back to the office if you're ready. Shall we return and make preparations? Not right now. Think well on whether you have things left to do. Anytime you want to head out, me and Armin are ready. This is important. Have you got your tissues, teeth brush, gone to the bathroom? You don't want to have to go in the heat of the moment. Alphamon is right. I've grown very fond of your world. I don't want to leave with any regrets. Once you're ready, just let me know. I'll be waiting here. Oh, okay, so we're about to want something else. We don't have much time, but preparations are important. Go finish what you need to do. Heh, <laughs> that punch stung. I'll give you that. That was a really childish thing of you to do back there, but that's not necessarily a bad thing either. Hey, merman. Hmm? Uh, hmm? The. Thanks. You plan on staring at me all quiet like that? Dr a day, all day or something? Cut it out, merman. It's weird and embarrassing, seeing that I mean, I guess that's kind of your thing, but still. Actually, to be honest, I have something I need to ask you. Because of all that trouble I ran into, I'm starting to feel like I'm falling behind the rest of you in terms of sheer strength and whatnot. I hate just leaving all the cool stuff to you and Nokia, so I want you to come with me for a little while. I'll find this as a proper case, so now you have to do it as part of your job, right? Okay. Take us back to the office, please, then. Let's us return to the detective agency, then. Oh, she's got a mission as well. Oh yes, a new case has been submitted to the office from a Digimon. I'd like you to take it. This case is a little tricky. It needs to be taken care of by a human. I'm not too much of a Digimon at heart, and so I have decided you should take care of it. You may choose to begin whenever you like. As always, check the whiteboard, and then I'll have the client come over for a meeting. Okay, so she can take me straight there. That's good. Um, it's a good idea to be plenty prepared, but don't forget that clock is ticking. 13 new cases? What? How did that happen? Right, start one. Dream of sky. Beamon. Beamon's dream is to fly through the sky, but no matter how much Beamon tries, it's no good. Help Beamon out. How did we get 13 new quests? Oh my god. Merman, where are you and what are you up to right now? Me? I'm ready for a fight. Something fierce. Over here, I feel like I've got to have one or else I'll go out of my mind. Seriously. I want to have a scrimmer. No, that's not it. More like a raw... Ah, my brain's running way too fast for my mouth to catch up. I want your Digimon to spar off with me and Vivi. Oh, hey, that's it. Yeah, that's what I want. A match between you and me. But we can't have it just any old place. I'm going to be somewhere special. You know to set the right mood for the occasion. I got it. Let's do it at that one memorial spot of ours. You know that one. Yeah, it'll be perfect. Go on ahead there. You better not maybe wait, because this is super important, you know. I already found it as a case of your agency, so now you can't say no. See you sooner, right? All right? Yeah. Waha! Cough, cough. Um, okay, we're not going to do that right now, then, because we've got a thing. 
Um, wait, there's a timer now, I mean. Shut up. Uh, what is she saying? Chrome Digizoid, wonderful. Is that all that? Oh no, she's saying, got as long as you're safe, it's okay, so in Tokyo, blah, 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 blah. Um, anyway. Okay, then we will end today's episode there. And when we come back next week, we'll do Beomon and then some of the other million missions that we now have. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We got, we did that big fight and then like a million years of talking happened. But now we're here, so it's fine. Um, I'm now a great side of sleuth, look at me. Uh, so yeah. Join me tomorrow. I don't even know what day we're on now. Like a Friday is tomorrow, I think. I'm not sure. But anyway, yeah. And we will do all of these missions at some point, even though I don't think that's going to take one episode, but we can try. Also, how is she going to fight me with her VV when we know that it's in another dimension holding a door open? But anyway, see you later. Bye bye.